right, let's get the facts out of the way first. This is a collection of five puzzle games, and those puzzles last anywhere from one minute to two, depending on how many hands you have. Video games are tough with one hand. That's a fact. So given all these facts, you might not expect much from this. Well, hold on there, Neil deGrasse Tyson, because here's another fact. I love Mickey Mouse, and I'm the one doing this review. Can't argue with, with the facts. It's Mickey's ultimate challenge for the Sega Genesis. Fact. So I don't know. I mean, could it just be that I'm a big Mickey fan? Yes. Yes, that's very true. And it's entirely possible that my adoration for Steamboat Willie has tainted my honesty and objectivity in ways that even I'm not fully aware of yet. F you guys. But look. Here's the thing about Mickey's ultimate challenge. Is it short? Absolutely. Is it easy? Oh, we're talking lemon squeezy. But is easy and short a bad thing? Like sometimes, you know, the funnest girl at the bars. All right, look, this is a Mickey Mouse game. Hey, Beanstalks, this game has him. Also has Minnie, who's also short. Wonder if she's also educated. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that if you're still watching this after the easy and short thing, well, this probably isn't a game for you. But if you stopped watching, it might be, but you stopped watching, so you'll never know. And you'll forever associate this kid's game with that perv on YouTube who wondered aloud about Minnie's moral fiber. Hey, all in a day's work, you're welcome. Besides, there's not much to talk about with the game. I mean, the five mini games? Like, it takes less than an hour to get to the finish line. Like, way less. And I'd like to think even Minnie would make you wait longer than an hour, Mickey. Look, you made it this far. I'd like to think you were expecting that. Now, what you might not be expecting is that I don't hate this game. Don't hate it one bit. It's obviously not a game for adults, but listen, I'm hardly an adult. And as a game for kids, we could do way worse than Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. This is, this is actually a fun little mini game quest. You get to play as either Mickey or Minnie, your choice, and you have to save the kingdom. Some kind of shaking going on, some kind of earthquake. Spoiler alert, it's not an earthquake. But if you want to find out what it is, you gotta help all the people with all their problems. Then they- oh, now you earn magic beans. Then you wake up the giant up in the clouds. Oh, shit, I just told you what it is. Now, of course, by help all the people, I mean play five minigames. There's a game where you have to jump on books in alphabetical order. There's a basic memory game. Uh, there's one where you have- to, where you get shrunk, and then you have to push things. It's actually kind of like Zelda. And there's another memory game, kind of like Simon, as well as this crap. This one I didn't like, because it's just a guessing game. Oh, you have to guess which tools Goofy has, but you also have to get them in the right order. So all you do is you just try crap until it works. And then after that, it's a process of elimination. So if you think guessing, like, what state is a person from? Well, like, where were they born? If you think that's fun, oh, dude, you're gonna love this. Also, dude. Use some, some new hobbies. I mean, the games all play okay, you know, and, and it's got some personality to the extent that a 30 minute video game can. Well, actually, it's kind of notable because it's the first game from a developer. It's actually quite popular today. It's way forward, believe it or not. Which makes some sense, because so many of their licensed games today have this same kind of quality. Like, simple ideas, but solid execution. Nice sprites, sounds good, plays well. I mean, for kids, this is a great little edutainment game. All five of the puzzles have an educational component, but it also feels like, you know, like a fun video game. If you're six. And I guess that's the thing about this game. You know, solid kids game but not at all worth your time otherwise. Castle of Illusion, Magical Quest, Mickey Mania, this is not. But still, hey, huge thanks to our, our friend Chris from Jersey City, New Jersey. Mickey Mouse always excites me. Phrasing, it's Mickey's ultimate challenge. There are worse things to do with 30 minutes. Pervs.